So now you're probably wondering how we can change the permissions or the mode of a file. So only the file's owner or the super user is able to change the mode. To change the mode of a file or directory, we use shmode. Two ways of using shmode include the octal number representation and the symbolic representation. So we'll first go over the octal number representation. So these values are from 0 to 7. And to see how this works, we have to first convert these octal numbers to binary. So this table here shows us the binary representation for each octal number. And here we can say that 1 is a true value, while 0 is a false. And we can apply this to our RWX pattern for permissions. So we have 000 would be something like dash dash dash. And then 001, since we have a 1 there, the x will be true and we'll have an x there. And for this one, we'll have the w in the middle. And we'll, for this one, we'll have dash wx and so on. So we have the following table. So we can have each octal representation, and then we have the binary. And then from there, we can get the file mode. So you can either memorize this or even easier to just understand how this works and then recreate it when you need it. So now we can actually use shmode. So let's try the hello world.txt. So let's create with touch. And then if we see this hello world file, we can see that it has the read write for users, read for groups, and read for the world. So if we want to change that, we can go shmode and then 600. Zero, zero. So our 6 would be the user and then the zero would be our group, and then the zero after that would be the world. And then just write hello text. And then we can see how that changed. And now our file modes are just RW, because that corresponds to six, and then the rest are empty. So try this with 434. And then let's see how that works. And we can see here that it's read for the user and then it's going to be write and execute for the group and read for the world. Now schmoding by symbols is a little less mathematic and a little more intuitive. So you would represent the user, g for the group owner, and o for others or the world. And then a would represent all and if we specify no characters then all is assumed. So if you want to change any accessions, we just want to put in our symbol name here, and then plus if we want to add any accessions, and then minus if we want to subtract. Now go ahead and try these follow-up questions and check your answers below.